So why are the regular low voltage solar charge controller more effective in terms of uh, energy output or power output compared to the solar charge controller built in uh, the solar hybrid inverter? So I'll be telling you a few reasons why this guy is more effective when it comes to energy output than the one in this guy. Let's check it out. There are three reasons to why the low voltage solar charge controller are more effective compared to the high voltage solar charge controller in built in the solar hybrid inverter. Uh, number one reason is work task or workforce, anyhow you understand the English. Uh, number two is energy retention and number three is energy loss. The low voltage solar charge controller tends to do less job compared to the high voltage solar charge controller. The reason being is that using the low voltage solar charge controller, you have already generated what your battery needs direct from uh, the solar panels. While on this other hand, when using the high voltage solar charge controller, what you are generating in terms of voltage and current is not what your battery needs. So this guy have to go through intense work in order to give the voltage and the current your battery requires to your battery bank. So there is more workforce done here or work task done here compared to the low voltage uh, solar charge controller. Number two is energy retention. Energy retention is somehow working hands in hands with the energy loss. So the low voltage solar charge controller tends to retain more energy compared to the high voltage solar charge controller. For example, if I'm, used, if I'm to use a 12 volt battery bank on this solar charge controller, all I need to do is to generate minimum voltage with maximum current to my battery bank. The low voltage solar charge controller is an opposite of the high voltage solar charge controller because when using the low voltage solar charge controller it generates low voltage with high current while when using uh, the uh, the high voltage solar charge controller it generates high voltage with minimum current so this guy is like a step up a step down step up while this guy is just a step down but at times this guy can also do the work of you know stepping up now we all believe that uh, it's more easier to bring down to break down than to build or raise up for example if i'm to demolish a house it will not take me more than an hour but if i'm to build a house it will take me like three months so there will be a lot of workforce a lot of stuff involved in it in doing that in stepping up and stepping down voltage or current from the solar panels there will be energy loss in this one much more energy loss in the high voltage solar charge controller than the low voltage solar charge controller so for example if my battery requires 20 amps for it to charge all I have to do using the low voltage solar charge controller is to generate like 40 or 60 amps. In doing that, if the sun decides to fluctuate or the weather decides to go dull, I can still have 40 or 35 amps coming to my solar charge controller and my solar charge controller will still be giving my battery bank 20 amps that it requires. On this other hand, using the high voltage in, uh, solar charge controller where you've generated maximum or high voltage with minimum current, if your battery requires 20 amps, you know that from your solar panels you uh, you've generated five amps, right? So if the weather decides to go dull or sun decided to fluctuate, instead of your inverter to be getting uh, the five amps from your solar panels, it will now be getting like two amps, three amps. So this guy have to step up that three amps to a higher amps. In stepping up that, you know, it will no longer step up to that uh, 20 amps which your battery require. So this guy doesn't retain energy like this guy. There is more energy retention in this low voltage solar charge controller than the uh, high voltage solar charge controller and also there is much energy loss in this guy which is the high voltage solar charge controller than the low voltage solar charge controller so these are the few reasons why the low voltage solar charge controller are more effective in power output or energy output compared to the high voltage uh, solar charge controller even with this comparison you already know the disadvantages of this guy over this guy and the disadvantages of this guy over this guy.